This video is a demonstration of some of the vulnerabilities found inside of the Budget website. Our setup is, is we have three boxes. We have a Budget box, which is on the uh, Fedora uh, operating system platform, and uh, it's using uh, Tomcat web server. We have a snort box. However, in our snort box, uh, we are not actually uh, uh, using it to, uh, to stop any of the vulnerabilities. As a matter of fact, you can see that the rules down here are actually all commented out. Alright, so let's look at some of the vulnerabilities. One of the first vulnerabilities we're going to look at is the invalid quantity uh, vulnerability that can be found inside of this budget box. Alright, and the way we do an illegal quantity is we go into the basket and we add some items. Alright, so we've added a couple of items and now what we will do is we will use a tool called Tamper Data. Now we're going to start tampering and we will now attempt to update this basket and say continue tampering and we're going to tamper the data. And as an example, let's uh, take the first quantity and make it negative. All right, now you can actually see that this store owes us money back. All right, we put a negative quantity in there and uh, we'll say update basket. And actually that did get submitted. Okay, so you can see that uh, the quantities do become negative. So we can even add more items Let's add something relatively inexpensive and that quantity remains negative and no exception was caught. Another vulnerability is to not even put a numerical value in there but to actually uh, put a, a letter value. All right, so let's uh, go back to tamper data. Let's tamper. Let's update our basket and let's just put instead of a one there, let's put the letter X and you can see that the website actually crashed, okay, because a number wasn't found. And let's clear um, all of these while we're at it and empty our basket. All right, so the next vulnerability we're going to take a look at is cross site scripting. Okay, and that's where you attempt to insert uh, JavaScript into a box. And the one that we're going to look at is the search box. And normally we can just put something in here like. Uh, what's its and it shows all items with the what's it in it okay but we can attempt to um, put JavaScript in there all right and so what's going to happen here is we should see an alert box pop up that says the word hacked and here we go all right so that was the cross site um, vulnerability demonstrated. All right, and then the final thing that we're going to demonstrate is we're going to uh, demonstrate uh, SQL injection. All right, and so normally uh, what happens is you go log in and you have to have a username and password. But the vulnerability found in the budget box is if you 
type in admin at the budget IT store and uh, add in more of a SQL query with a single quote, the word or, and then one equals zero. And the quotes just like you see it there. And what you're going to see is we can now log in without any password. So we've now logged in as the administrator with no password at all. All right, so this was a demonstration of three particular vulnerabilities found in the budget box. This is the end of the recording.